Day 410. Today there is a lot of news from the south. Here, in preparation for the coming Ukrainian counteroffensive operation, Russian forces have been increasing the density of their fortifications, expecting to stop them on the first line. However, recent news suggests that Ukrainians develop ballistic missiles with a range of more than 400 kilometers and have already started targeting critical supply lines in Crimea. Last time I told you that Ukrainians are getting closer to Russian positions and conducting reconnaissance in force operations to reveal the weaknesses in the Russian defense. I also told you that in doing so, Ukrainians managed to reduce the gray zones between Ukrainian and Russian positions, especially in the area of Robotina and Bilohiria. The freshest report suggests that the Ukrainians have successfully reduced the gray zones even more and got very close to several more Russian positions. Recent geolocated photos published by Russian media show that Ukrainians created several positions in tree lines deep south of Rihiv. These positions are located west of Nesteryanka, which already allows Ukrainians to attack it from at least two directions. Operating in such close proximity to the village allowed Ukrainian drone operators to start destroying Russian defensive infrastructure, such as counter-battery raiders on the roofs. Russian sources also reported that Ukrainians increased the concentration of their forces in the region. According to these reports, one assault group arrived at Komoshovaha and still has not been deployed to the Zero Line. Another assault group with a lot of experience in urban fighting was reportedly relocated from Bakhmut to the Hulaipola area. And the Hulaipola direction is starting to activate as well. Recent combat footage reveals that Ukrainians are actively firing at the Russian positions in Dorozhnyanka. Dorozhnyanka is a small settlement, however it is the only village that separates the two biggest strongholds in this part of the region, Hulaipola and Pologe. The use of mortars and artillery signals about the preparation for the offensive actions. Ukrainian 44th Artillery Brigade, which is responsible for both the Orekhiv and Hulaipola sectors, is increasingly targeting Russian positions in the tree lines. Here in the fields, trees are the only objects that can obstruct the view, so almost all trenches are located here. In order to boost their defense, Russians started deploying the mine lane vehicle GMZ-3. The vehicle is designed for anti-tank mining and can place mines in the ground with camouflage. Simultaneously, Ukraine started testing American special equipment, M58 Mine Clearing Line Charge. M58 is an explosive line charge, which provides a lane 8 meters by 100 meters. Russian forces are trying to identify where such equipment is located and destroy it as soon as possible to undermine Ukrainian offensive capabilities. Today Russian sources reported that Russian aviation conducted an airstrike targeting a concentration of equipment. Over the last week, the strikes on rear positions by both parties became very common. Over the last four days, Ukrainians reportedly hit Russian bases in Tokmak, Molochansk, Mirna and Melitopol with HIMARS. The targets were various, from substations that power local trains, to logistical centers, ammunition depots and forces concentrations. In order to clear the sky for the rockets, Ukrainian air reconnaissance and artillery crews are actively hunting down Russian medium-range air defense. The reach of Ukrainian artillery is constantly increasing. Two days ago, Russian sources reported about the redeployment of several HIMARS crews to the Kherson region, and shortly after that, the locals from Armyansk reported that they heard several explosions. However, the biggest news by far is that Russians reportedly shot down several ballistic missiles in Feodosia. Geolocated footage showed an explosion near the Russian anti-aircraft missile base. Up until that point, the only way Ukrainians could reach Crimea was by using various aerial and amphibious drones. Russian sources reported that Ukrainians had developed the operational tactical missile system GROM-2 by modernizing its previous version. Some sources claim that the rockets were launched from the Kherson region and traveled around 260 kilometers, while other sources say that it was launched from the Odessa region and traveled 415 kilometers. It looks like the second scenario is correct, and Ukrainians already possess the missiles that are capable of destroying the Crimean bridge before the counteroffensive operation even begins. Such a development would significantly reduce Russian capabilities of supplying the southern group right when it would be needed the most. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. 
The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next report.